All right, again, continuing with our reactions lab here, this is station number six. Uh, this is gonna involve taking a piece of zinc. Now zinc is metal here, it's a solid here. Uh, I already have a few chunks here on the lid. I'm gonna pour these chunks here into the test tube and all we're gonna do is we're gonna watch what happens as I drop um, acid uh, onto this uh, metal here. Uh, now, just for warning here, uh, this zinc sample that we have here isn't the greatest. So uh, even though you're going to still balance the equation using zinc here, uh, I'm also going to add to the reaction here. Uh, imagine not just zinc being the metal here, I'm going to add in some magnesium uh, as well, just to get the reaction to proceed a little bit uh, better. Uh, we'll make an observation to see what happens, and then we can probably do a burning splint test to figure out what gas that we produce. So uh, let's give that a try here, Let me move the rest out of the way. So I'm going to start off here uh, just with our zinc sample. I'm going to dump in a few chunks of the zinc. Right. So there's our zinc inside the test tube. Okay. Uh, I'm going to very carefully add the acid here into the zinc. Again, this is the reaction as prescribed in uh, the lab manual. Okay. Uh, you can make some observations there. I mentioned our zinc sample uh, wasn't very good here. It seems to have been sort of coated over with a certain material here. Okay. But you can still see to some degree here, anytime you see bubbles forming here, okay, uh, that's actually gas that's being produced. Uh, if you try to do a balanced equation for that there, uh, you can actually figure out what gas is being produced. Okay. Um, what I'm gonna do uh, in the next part of this clip here is I'm gonna add the magnesium here just to build up a little bit more uh, gas. I'm gonna trap the gas here inside the test tube, and then like I mentioned, we're gonna do a burning splint test to try to figure out uh, the identity of this gas here. So, one second here. All right, so that reaction has been going on for a little while here. Uh, we're still seeing the bubbles forming. Uh, again, just for uh, fun, I'm going to add magnesium to the sample here uh, just to get a few more bubbles forming. Uh, that in itself is uh, its own reaction. You can see if you can do a balanced equation for that there. I'm actually going to seal up a little bit of the gas here, trap a little bit inside this test tube here. Uh, again, you can try to do a balanced equation here to try to figure out uh, what gas is actually being produced. Uh, for this one here, we can actually do what's called a burning splint test. So I have a candle lit there. To prepare a burning splint here, I'm just going to take this wooden splint here. I'm going to keep it on fire. Right? And then as I trap this gas here, we're going to see what uh, happens when I put this to the mouth of the test tube. So I'm just going to add that here. There we go. Uh, sometimes also referred to as the pop test here. You can do the balance equation to figure out uh, what gas was released. Thanks, guys.